I'll be showing seven new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes the highly requested meeting co-organizer feature, some core productivity enhancements, and some fun stuff too. So let's get started. The first new feature is the long requested co-organizer support for meetings. So I'm an organizer and I wanna add a co-organizer to help me out. I have a meeting I've already sent out and I'm gonna click join and join the meeting. I'm here in my team's meeting, and now I'm the organizer, I'm Mike, and I wanna make Ella a co-organizer of my meeting. This is gonna be talking about our important InnoTech and TPS report strategy update. So I'm gonna go here into meeting options, click the three dot menu, and go to meeting options. Right here, I can choose co-organizers. This is a new option. We'll drop this down, and I'm gonna choose Ella, and she is now a co-organizer, and hit save. Now I'll show participants, and we can see that Ella says an organizer, and also I'm an organizer. Alex here is just a participant. Now let's switch over to Ella and see what options she gets now that she's a co-organizer. Now I'm signed in as Ella, and you can see that Mike is presenting. He's on the next slide, but because I'm a co-organizer, I can now go to the three-dot menu, and I can choose meeting options. And as the co-organizer, I can change all of these different meeting options. I can put this into manage mode, I can turn off attendee cameras, all the things that an organizer can do. In addition, if I go to the participant panel here, I can also do things like hit the three dot menu, I can lock the meeting, I can even manage permissions. The second new feature is the ability to mute notifications during your meeting or you can mute them for all meetings. Now I'm here in my Inatech strategy update and I'm just getting into the really interesting part of the deck. And all of a sudden, ah, I get this little Ella mention me right down here. It's kind of annoying. I hit close, I keep going along my presentation. Oh, and now Alex is mentioning me. This is really annoying. I'm gonna go to the three dot menu here and there's a new option which is mute notifications. I will turn this on. Now what this means is I will no longer get those little fly out notifications in Teams if people are at mentioning me or chatting with me or whatnot. I can also change this for all meetings. So there's a new choice in settings. So I'll go there now. In Teams, go up to the three dot menu and choose settings. Now go to notifications. If you scroll down to meetings and calls, I'll go to here and there's a new switch and I can say mute notifications during meetings and calls. So I can turn this on and now they're always going to be muted anytime I go into a meeting or a call. You have a few other options about the meeting starting. You can say, hey, turn that off or even meeting chats, you can turn those off as well. So you have the ability to customize, but in this case, I wanna just mute all of them during meetings and calls. The third new feature is the ability to make your chats more compact. So I've got a big chat stream here and maybe I wanna make this a little more compact so I can see more things in one screen. Go to the three dot menu here and choose settings. And there's a new chat density section. Right now it's set to comfy. I'm gonna make it compact. So I'll choose this and close the window. You can see now it's much more compact and it is all laid out and justified on the left hand side. So now all of my chats are a little more compact. And here's another example. The fourth new feature is the ability to pin yourself in a meeting, and that's where only I can see it. Now I'm Bill Lumberg here. I'm presenting to the Inatech board about the problem, but who's gonna save us, and it's me. And I want a front row seat to watch myself present here. I'll go down to the lower right and hover and hit the three dot menu and say pin for me. Hey, check that out. Now I'm pinned, I could just stare at myself the entire time while I'm presenting. So this pinning only shows for me, it doesn't show for the other people. And if I wanna unpin myself, just hover and choose the three dot menu and say unpin, and now I'm back to normal. The fifth new feature is the long awaited full background support in your team's meetings on the web. I'm signed in here to Teams for the web and I'm about to join a meeting. I'll go here to the camera Hey, there I am, but I wanna make this ugly background go away. I'm gonna click background filters. And I have all these choices. So I can choose this one. Hey, I'm looking good. I have all these other options right here. And if I wanna turn it off, I just click on the little Ghostbusters or I can choose a blur. The sixth new feature is fluent emojis in Teams because you gotta have those beautiful 3D emojis. So I'm gonna click reply here to this TPS report offsite. And normally I'd click this and get the two dimensional emojis, but watch this, click emoji and look at all these beautiful fluent emojis. They've all been upgraded. Just some examples. Look at those beautiful 3D animals, 3D dimensional food that makes me so hungry. I think this TPS report offsite is a bullseye. So I'll just send that. The seventh new feature is for our education friends and that is the ability for educators to control assignment notifications. This has been a really big request for a long time. 
I'm going to go to the three dot menu in the upper right here, drop this down and choose settings. Now go to notifications and you're going to scroll down and you'll see this assignments option. This will only show up if you are an educator with a Microsoft education SKU and that's using teams for education. So now I can click edit and I have some nice controls so I don't get flooded with notifications or I can get notified in very certain situations. So one is when assignments publish, I can turn that off. I can put the banner or the feed or only show in the feed. So now when you publish an assignment, you can notify or not. Even when an assignment is modified, you can control that. Assignments being returned, this can be a really important one. Teachers wanna know when they're returned or maybe they say, I never wanna get pinged when those assignments are returned. And then if an assignment fails, so for some reason, if there's a failure to distribute an assignment, you can choose this one as well. This will make it much easier on the educators who may or may not want to get flooded with notifications. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.